Hello and welcome to this module number one. I'm going to start off the module with a rather unusual approach instead of, uh, well, you know, some showing you what you should be doing in order to trade Forex. Uh, I'm going to start off by showing you what you should not be doing uh, if you want to trade Forex profitably. Um, most of the courses around uh, focus or most of the technical analysis based courses around focus on indicators, on standard indicators such as, well, you know, moving average crossovers, uh, MACDs, um, stochastics, etc., uh, etc., et a Bollinger Bands, etc., etc. There are plenty of uh, indicators around. And, uh, well, this is <clears throat> my, the way I, I personally tried. Uh, it's completely different to uh, this approach, I, I don't believe in indicators. I think they are one of the uh, biggest lies <laughs> in, uh, in, in Forex market, in, in basically trading any speculation market. Um, indicators, uh, as, as you probably know, are a mathematical formula based on both price and time. Um, and, and, well, they aim to predict uh, upcoming moves in price according to, well, some sort of uh, mathematical formula, some specific uh, mathematical equation. Like I said, trying to uh, predict future, uh, future moves in, in price. I believe that's utter nonsense, utter bollocks, if I may. <laughs> um, it, it makes no sense whatsoever. And I'm going to try to, well, I'm going to line up the reasons, the, uh, you know, the uh, logic behind my, uh, my beliefs. Okay, let's get going. Okay, right now you are looking into a real forex chart. Uh, in this case, I'm using the euro against the American dollar on the one-hour time frame. But uh, I could easily apply uh, any currency pair or any time frame. Uh, I could basically apply any any chart to my uh, to this video uh, because the principles remain constant no matter what time frame, no matter what currency pair. As you can see, I have uh, plotted on my chart the uh, the price in itself. And then here I have the stochastic, which is one of the most popular uh, standard indicators around. There are many, <clears throat> uh, many uh, forex uh, systems uh, based on this indicator, or at least they use this indicator uh, as part of their technical analysis. What I want to try to do is to explain the reasons as of why I believe, first of all, using the stochastic or any other indicator, uh, like I said, first of all, is useless, and second, is counterproductive, as you get confused with information that brings no further benefit to your technical analysis. Um, as I was saying before, we are looking into the euro against the American dollar, which keeps track of the exchange rate between uh, the world's two main currencies, the euro and obviously the American dollar. As I was explaining in the, in the uh, introductory uh, module of this course, uh, over 50% of the uh, world's trading volume on a daily basis takes place on this currency pair, on the euro against the American dollar, uh, mainly because, like I said, uh, uh, the euro and the American dollar are the two main currencies in the world. Uh, the European community and the United States are the two, uh, let's say, most influential economical focal points in the global market economy. We all know that America, that uh, United States and Euro the European community are the, uh, well, the world's two top powers uh, when it comes to the uh, financial and the industrial global scope. Uh, this currency pair moves over one trillion, I mean, one trillion dollars every single day on market transactions, and as I said before, it keeps track of the correlation between the value of those two, uh, of the currencies for those two main uh, economical global focal points in the world. Okay? Now, this is the stochastic. The principle between, uh, behind the stochastic is to identify overbought and oversold levels. Uh, these two levels are usually, uh, I mean, overbought and oversold levels are usually signified by the 80 and the 20 level uh, in the uh, stochastic. The stochastic uh, oscillates between 0 and 100. Well, 
everything over 80 is considered overbought everything be, uh, below 20 is considered uh, oversold now the point of this uh, overbought and oversold levels is to identify turning points where price may turn around meaning that if price uh, sorry if the stochastic is uh, above 80 meaning it's overbought uh, price should be turning around sooner or later because the indicator well believes that it's been an over it's been an ongoing overbought uh, market pressure and therefore price should be coming down within the let's say standard boundaries okay between 20 and 80 so if the stochastic is calling an overbought level meaning above 80 you should be expecting price to turn down uh, fairly soon okay that overbought and oversold levels is represented by this blue line okay this one that I'm marking right here again if this blue line is below 20 we are in oversold levels if it's above 80 we are in overbought levels now here comes the point I want to drive home with this video as I was saying before the euro and the American dollar are the two most influential uh, financial and industrial focal points in the world over a trillion dollars are traded every day uh, over a trillion dollars exchange hands in this very currency pair does anyone believe okay that the market uh, market value of either of these two world's titans okay these are the two most important economies on planet earth okay <laughs> uh, some of the richest people in the world live in either Europe or United States does anyone believe that the value for their currencies okay again for the some of the richest people in the world some of the richest companies and richest economies in the world is gonna depend on what this silly blue line says does anyone believe that <laughs> if this silly blue line is down here or up here the value of those titans, the value of those currencies is going to be uh, moving accordingly to what this silly blue line says? Really? I mean, seriously? Does anyone believe that? Um, I, I, I don't think so. <laughs> if, uh, if the price for the Euro, you know, the Euro American dollar is to go up, it will go up regardless of what this line, this silly blue line says. If it's to go down, it will go down regardless of what readings we get from the stochastic. Uh, in fact, well, take a look at my screen. Uh, this is price, this is stochastic. Pro uh, stochastic right here was marking right there overbought levels. And uh, the principle behind the stochastic is once price turned down from overbought into the what well, into standard readings meaning between 18 uh, between 80 and 20 price should be coming down that happens right there which is right there okay at this price we should be selling the euro against the american dollar if we are to be, believe the stochastic well take a look at what happened it moved up we would have lost money right there it says it's uh, oversold level uh, we are uh, the market is oversold and price should be going down we bought here hey this time around we made money good it's a 50% uh, win-loss ratio so far right here it says we are in overbought again which is right there at this point we should have sold according to the stochastic of course the euro against the American dollar take a look at what happened we lost money that's two losses out of three trades what about here it says we are in overbought levels again as soon as it turns down right there it says uh, as soon as it turns from over 80 to under 20 right there we should have sold the euro against the american dollar take a look at what happened we would have lost money again that's three losing trades out of four we come down here oversold levels at this precise junction we should uh, we should have uh, bought the euro against the american dollar right there we should have bought uh, this currency pair well it went up for just a little bit before plummeting down once again oh well that's a tough call I'm not very sure whether we would have made money uh, buying at this precise junction but okay just to be fair let's say we made money so that's um, 
three wins, two loses. Right there, we are at oversold level again. We should have, according to the stochastic, bought the euro against the American dollar right there. Look at what happened. Price went down. So that's four wins and two losses out of six total trades in this small period of time, really. This is a very a small portion of the chart. So, you know, you may as well just flip a coin, quite frankly. <laughs> um, trusting indicators, at least blindly trust your in, uh, any indicator, uh, is just as good as flipping a coin. And what's even more dangerously, the problem when you have indicators on your chart is that you are forgetting uh, what's actually going on in price in, 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 the, in the chart in itself because you are focusing too much on the readings you get from the, from the stochastic and you just lose track of, uh, of what's actually going in price, quite frankly. Um, the only indicator that can predict or that can indicate whether price is going to go up or down is price in itself. Okay? No indicator ever no matter whether it's the stochastic, the MACD, the uh, Bollinger Bands, the uh, RSI, any moving average crossover, whatever indicator you may pick, no indicator will be able to predict uh, future turning points in price better than just flipping a coin. So basically what you are doing with your plotting indicators uh, some people I, I, uh, some people tend to uh, plot multiple indicators even. Basically, what you are doing is stuffing yourself with, first of all, useless information, and second, information that's uh, counterproductive because you are losing uh, focus on what's actually important in the chart. And that's price in itself. You should be focusing only on price because you make money when price goes up or goes down, not when the stochastic goes up or goes down. All right? Uh, the stochastic may say whatever it wants. You are not going to make money on movements in uh, or readings on the stochastic. You are going to make move, uh, money uh, when you are trading in the direction of price. And, and so if that's the case, if you only make money when price is moving, not when the stochastic is moving, then what's the point in, in plotting the stochastic or any other indicator? If you are not getting any, uh, any useful uh, information out of the stochastic, why should you why should you be plotting it at all? At all. You're stuffing your analysis trading thinking process with useless information and again counterproductive because as I said before, you're losing focus on what's going on at the important end of the chart, which is price in itself. That's the only indicator you should be focusing on. Because it's ultimately the only element that's gonna make you or lose you money price, movement, movements in price and trading in the direction of those movements. So if you want my opinion, the best possible trading decision you can do at this point, okay, in this chart is right click on your chart, click on indicators list, select the stochastic indicator and click on the delete button. Right there, you just made money. <laughs> well, maybe you didn't make money, but at least you've helped yourself stop losing money by, uh, well, as I said before, following information that's not going to help you. Once you've taken all the indicators off your chart, you can fully focus on what's important, whether price is going up or whether price is going, or is going down. And from there, take your trading decisions accordingly, okay, according to price in itself, not on any other silly blue line. As I said before, uh, the value of the euro against the American dollar, the world's two main, ca uh, main currencies, the world's two main economical powers, do not depend on a silly blue line. They depend exclusively on price and how price moves. So please, 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 I'm, I'm on my knee right now. <laughs> I beg you, take off all the indicators of your chart. Is the first step in order to become profitable in the forex market, at least const, uh, constantly profitable um, in your trading beyond the odds that you would get from just flipping a coin. So I, I know what you're thinking. Um, if indicators are so useless and so counterproductive, why do so many people use them? Why, uh, why uh, you've probably seen plenty of systems around on the internet 
probably you've bought a few of them, you've paid for for a few of them, or or you read on on internet forums, or you've read few PDF ebooks uh, that uh, well are using indicators as as the core element of the um, of their trading analysis. Uh, you, you know the type of system I'm talking about, uh, stuff like uh, EV8 exponential moving average goes above the 13 exponential moving average and uh, the uh, MACD uh, crosses above the zero line and uh, the stochastic goes from oversold above the uh, 20 level, then go long. Alternatively, if the uh, 8 exponential moving average goes under the 13 exponential moving average and the RSI goes uh, from above 70 to under 70 and uh, you are cooking uh, fried chicken with mashed potatoes for dinner, then go short. <laughs> Mm. You you know the type of systems I'm talking about. I'm sure you've you've come across a few of them already. Uh, so you're probably asking yourself if if that kind of uh, indicator based systems or or systems that are exclusively based on standard indicators if they are so useless if you get so little useful information out of them. Why do they exist at all? Why do people trade them at all? And and here's the reason: indicators are easy to follow. Because they tell you whether you are at, uh, well, uh, again, going back in, uh, with the uh, stochastic, they tell you whether you are in overbought or oversold levels. You have to do no thinking process. The indicators tell you, hey, man, uh, you are in overbought levels as per the, um, as per the uh, stochastic and price should be coming down uh, anytime soon. Uh, obviously, the, the uh, stochastic won't tell you why at all price should be coming down <laughs> you just gotta believe that uh, since that blue line is above 80 whatever 80 means <laughs> price should be coming down um, uh, okay all right I mean um, like I said before uh, I, I, I believe that's utter nonsense uh, but it's an easy decision okay if price if the stochastic soar is above 80 price should be coming down there is no thinking to do in there um, in the same way, if you're if you're plotting moving averages on your chart in order to trade crossovers, uh, well, crossovers basically advocate for when a fast moving average crosses above a slow moving average, price should be coming up, and and conversely, if a fast moving average should, uh, is crossing below a fast moving average, uh, sorry, a slow moving average, price should be coming down. Uh, why? God knows. <laughs> it's, it's a matter of faith. Uh, believing in indicators, following the uh, the calls, the trading calls, the trading signals from indicators is is basically uh, you know applying faith to trading. And trading has got nothing to do with faith. It's got to do uh, trading is all about reading charts, seeing price action, seeing how price behaves, and setting up your trading positions according to those price movements. Uh, it's nothing to do with faith, okay? It's nothing to do with following indicators calls uh, uh, as a blind man. It's all about following price action and applying a statistically positive odds on your favor by trading in the direction of the ongoing price movement. Again, I must repeat, many of those systems uh, systems you may have bought uh, over the internet many of those systems you you may have read on an internet forum on a pdf ebook are based on uh, traditional on standard indicators because people don't want to think they want to follow easy to read easy to understand trading signals without conducting any actual thinking any actual trading analysis on themselves uh, I'll be honest with you, trading is not that simple. Trading is not that easy. Um, I'm not saying that trading should be difficult, but if trading was so easy that you could make constantly money by simply following uh, you know, the uh, trading signals, the trading calls given by an indicator, everyone should be rich. Everyone would be rich. Anyone can read whether the stochastic is above or below 80. Anyone can read whether a fast moving average is crossing below uh, a slow moving average or, or otherwise. Uh, a child, a five year old child can do that. And obviously, if you, uh, if you get a five year old child in front of the market to trade real money, uh, unfortunately, he will not make money. And 
most of the uh, of the traders that follow blindly indicators will not make money because simply trading is just not that simple it's not that easy uh, trading is a profession okay it's like any other profession it's like being a doctor it's like being a lawyer it's like being an accountant uh, <clears throat> you need to understand if you're a doctor you need to understand how the body works how a living organism uh, the human body in this case works why it works that way and the reasonings behind this or that illness in order to cure it, okay, in order to find a cure, uh, in order to know which medicaments uh, the uh, patient should take in order to cure himself or herself. In the same way, in trading, you need to understand what's going on, okay? You need to be able to read price. You need to be able to think as a trader instead of an indicator follower, okay? If you follow indicators, you are not you're not, let's say, uh, reading price. You're not understanding what's going on behind the scenes. You are, you're just basically following signals given by a silly blue line. And that, unfortunately, I'm afraid it doesn't work. I wish it worked because it's certainly much easier than, than reading price. Um, but it doesn't. Okay. It doesn't. Uh, most of the, uh, of the professional traders I, uh, have come across in my trading career, they focus very little on indicators and very much on pricing itself. So please do yourself a favor. Again, I, I must repeat, this is really important. If you are just to pick one single piece of information from this entire website, is that you should take off all your, all your indicators and just focus on price, okay? That's the first step any trader has got to make in order to, well, initiate the journey into long-term forex profitability. So, uh, sorry about the rant. <laughs> sorry about rambling away, but uh, I do think it's important that um, we uh, get off with the right foot. And now that we've taken off all the indicators off our charts, now that we are just focusing on price, Okay, now that there are no silly blue lines on our charts that may be clouding our thinking process, now we can begin actually learning how to trade Forex profitably.